Guru Nation, welcome to another episode of Random Musings from the Clinical Trails Guru. It's not often I interview someone whose beard is longer than mine, but Joe, one of my CRA Academy students, uh, I mean, he's like years ahead as far as that beard is concerned. He's looking good, man. Looking very good, Joe. Okay, thanks. I, I'm lucky because my wife likes it. So, yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My wife likes the beard too, but lately she's been saying, yeah, you know, if it's getting too long, but she hasn't said <laughs> anything yet. She hasn't said anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's coming. I think if you just like keep it trimmed, not, yeah. like neatly, it kind of uh -huh. grows and you just get used to it and then it just gets uh -huh. longer and longer. That's yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but definitely beard goals. Joe yeah. is a CRA Academy student in our current class, February 2020 class. Okay. We are, for those watching in the future, still in february 2020 the class just started two weeks ago joe already got hired in the industry so joe first of all this is amazing i mean oh. you know you you're gonna come do a guest lecture or, or just q a on how you did it for the students mm -hmm. but can you tell all of us you know what was your goal when did you when did you want to get, you know, when did you realize about clinical research? And then um, I guess we'll go from there. Okay, okay. Uh, my background is a little bit uh, unusual because because I know about clinical research, it seems like since graduation, uh, all my friends back in Brazil start working with that. Uh, my wife is a clinical research uh she works at the in the industry she is a line manager she's a, been a line oh, manager okay. for more than 10 years so uh, i'm kind of used to all the the, the the how the industry works and everything so and then uh, i moved from brazil to here san diego california uh in 2018 and I was working as a translation, a translator, uh, because back in Brazil, they, they, all the CROs need translations of the protocols, brochures, and so mm -hmm. I start to get uh, exposure to. I get exposed, get exposed to those documents since 2008, and since we moved here, uh, uh, okay, uh, this is like. Uh, why not try a new position in the industry? Because I have lots of friends that even here in San Diego that work in the clinical industry, clinical research industry. So I started looking for CRA positions right off the bat, but uh, all I got was rejections. So uh, my wife actually is a clinical, it's, he's, she is the line manager of Elizabeth Rowe, I think, she, you had an interview with her, and she oh, was the one that the weeks row. That's right. yeah, weeks row. Right. Yeah, wow, yeah. Okay. So she told my wife, "Oh, you, you, you know, I know this guy Dan, and he has a CRA Academy. He's a nice guy. Uh, you should look for it." Wow. Like, Thank you, Elizabeth. That's, yeah, that's how I, I I knew your academy. And okay, uh, I was waiting for the, the uh, up to February to start the, the, the course. And I, with, in mean, meanwhile, I applied for, I think, five or six CRA positions, but all rejections. And then I started the course and tried to, to, to look for more entry-level positions, like assistants, uh, coordinators, or this position that I got hired at, that I entry associate. So I, uh, for this position, they, they, they reached me and then, okay, here I am, now I'm hired. But definitely they, they, they took into consideration the, the academy that I'm studying for a CRA because they, they told me, oh, you're studying for in the CRA academy. Uh, you want to be a CRA? Of, of course, like this is the, the, my goal. Ultimate goal is being a CRA. Yeah. So wh what, what's the position for that you interviewed? Oh, it's data entry associate. 
And is is this uh, for a big uh, CRO or sponsor? Or who who's the employer? Yeah, yeah, it's a company that uh, basically they have the CRO part and also the CRU part, uh, Clinical Research Unit. It's a site, yeah, a clinical site. site. So it's yeah, like a CRO and a site mix. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and I got hired for this position in the CRU part. I'm gonna work in this clinical site not in the CRO part. And they probably yeah. like the fact that you want to be a CRA because they feel like they can groom you for potential. Yeah. Is, is, yeah. is the job like similar to a study coordinator? I think uh, it's the bureaucratic part of coordinator. I'll not get in contact with uh, any patient, but it's, I'm going to uh, basically, I think, is going to be like uh, transcribing the the. the the, the, the source documents to the CRFs and then doing CQC and all that. I'm going to have contact with the CRAs that visit the site and that part of it. Yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Uh, this is a great opportunity and it's in yeah. San Diego, right? You're in San Diego? Yeah, it's in Chula Vista, San Diego County. I like love Chula Vista. Vista. Yeah, I love Chula <laughs> yeah. Vista. Okay, so before the CRA Academy, you were applying how many places did you apply i was only applying for uh big CROs uh for cra position okay I, okay I i i didn't apply for too many positions i would say like 10 or 15 uh, all rejections okay so not that many but they were all cra's cra or yeah yeah, CRA. yeah 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 i was trying like just to see how it works. No interview, nothing, right? No, just no, everything no. ignored. Just the automatic email, you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I've been there before. It can be very depressing. So then what did you do like at that point? Is that when you talked to your wife and said, Hey, you know, what you know, what do you think I can do? I mean, what yeah. did your wife tell you? What did your wife tell you? Like expect that no one's gonna really hire you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she told me, yeah, it's going to be hard because you'll have no experience at all. So keep trying. You have to apply for, as you say, uh, to as many positions as possible. So she's confirming uh, what I say all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, guys, I, I, this is a line yeah. manager, senior line manager telling you uh -huh. at a big CRO, telling you exactly the same thing this guy is telling you on YouTube. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, yeah, but then I realized, okay, I, I have some, exp I am exposed to the clinical trials environment, like all the documents. I've translated all kind of documents, like uh, deviation lists, CRICFs, clinical protocols. So I'm, I'm exposed to that environment, I would say. But I have no, I, I haven't, I, I don't have experience. So I need to, to, somehow gain experience mm -hmm. in this field. what were you what were you doing in brazil what's your background oh i i am a pharmacist uh okay. i studied okay. i am a pharmacist i graduated in 2003 but my parent my parents have a small business in a countryside of sao paulo uh they have a clinical lab and a compounding pharmacy so right after graduating, I uh, worked with my dad and they are always liked reading in English and reading scientific papers. So my wife told me, oh, we, there is a need for translations in the clinical trial industry. Do you, are you interested? Then I started my, uh, so I've been working as translation since 2008. Wow. It's been 10 okay. years. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you did. You do have a medical clinical background. Yeah. For sure. yeah. So that helps. Yeah. That does help. Yeah. So yeah. when you got this job that, that, that you got hired and congratulations again. Thank um, you. How many applications and interviews did it take to get this position? Okay. The first one was with the R HR uh lady uh we did a short interview through the phone like 10 or 15 minutes and then after that uh right uh, right after the interview she told me okay i would love to get to have you here for a personal in person interview and then a week later i had an interview in in this company 
uh, with five people, uh, three on site and two to the phone. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So from, uh, but what about other companies? Did anyone else interview or was this the first? No, it was my first interview, actually. <laughs> How many interviews so did you have with, with, with other companies, with other companies? I've never had an interview because I never get to the part of interviewing okay, me. Okay, so oh, this yeah. job was your first interview. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh -huh. and, then they, and then they hired you, they liked you there? I think so. <laughs> I think I should say the right things. And yeah. Being natural, you know, uh, my wife always told me she interviews lots of CRA candidates. Of course. And she told me, Man, uh, don't don't try to say the right things. Just be you and say what you are, what you are, and how easy you are. Don't try to fake any an experience that you don't have. Just be yourself. And I think they they liked the fact that uh, okay, I have a kind of a back, little background in research, but I'm trying to get better and to study. And wow. to evolve. Yeah. So this yeah. interview, I mean, how you know how long? I know you explained. Just break it down in more details. How long was the interview, and what kind of things did they ask? Uh, uh, the on-site interview was like thirty minutes. A thirty minutes interview. They always ask about situational things. You know, oh. okay, if you, yeah, if you tackle this this kind of situation, what would you do? Okay, I'm doing, what was your, uh, what, say some uh, personal achievements, say some, tell about some uh, professional achievement, things like that. Most of the questions were like uh, sit situational questions, yeah. And what kind of situations were they asking you, like research situations or what were they, what were they saying? No, no, like, okay, if you do a mistake, what would you do? Like, well, how do you try to correct them? What's important? Uh, do you get along with people that you are, can you work with people that you don't get along? So something like okay. some things like that. Not about my experience. Uh, of course, I try to to tell them about my experience in a clinical lab or translating, but never, never trying to to like say more than I, than I've done you know but they yes. were they were impressed that you were taking a CRA Academy yeah yeah they were like okay you are and they ask about I, th I say okay I'm being exposed they uh, and I'm interested in this course because they will give me the practical yeah. part you know yeah. uh, before I reached reached the the CRA Academy I, I was uh, I found uh, that University of San Diego has a clinical research course but no practical part you know so that's the problem so yeah I choose the CRA Academy because of the practical like that's we are gonna future. monitor that's yeah. the future of education I think is practical mm -hmm. you know back we're mm -hmm. going back to Benjamin Franklin's time when people were apprentice uh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's really where we're headed. I think we're headed back that way. Uh, uh -huh. Joe, this is amazing. Uh, we're going to look forward to your um, 20 to 30 minute session with the students that I'll help, uh -huh. I'll help facilitate it. Uh -huh. And then uh, I'm sure people will ask you tons of questions, but you're an inspiration because you know, I mean, you didn't have any clinical research experience. You know, you had a clinical no. experience. You're in the CRA Academy, so uh -huh. you're headed in the right direction. But it's it's just inspiring that, that it can actually happen. And um, as you heard from Joe, it wasn't easy. Um, although for you, it was relatively easy because yeah, like, most people like, are doing yeah. like 100, uh, 400 yeah. applications. But still, yeah. you got rejected like 10 times initially and then – another uh -huh. like who knows how many and this was your only interview you got uh-huh so yeah that's very it. very good very proud of you uh, so i'm curious your wife has she does she agree with my hypothesis that uh being a generalist is best for you uh, oh yeah I, I think so because she monitored lots of different studies back in brazil 
Uh, I know she monitored oncology, urology, like even vaccines. Wow. I think she monitored. So yeah, I, I definitely I agree with you. Like uh, you are, you, wow. if you are a specialist, you are so limited. Like right. you have to to broad your your. But your but and this is perfect example of you, Joe. Everybody starts as a specialist somewhere. Yeah, you know, and then it's your up to you to want to learn more, just like you took the CRA Academy. I mean, these people are already th seeing this. Okay, this mm -hmm. guy, this is what he wants to do. So did they tell you that that's a possibility with them to be a CRA or what? How did that go? Yeah, yeah. They say that uh, as a not as is a it's a small company. So they 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 uh, they said to me, OK, if you if you work here and if you do the, your job well, we can like move you horizontally, you know, and you, to the CRO part, wow. maybe as a clinical trial uh, uh, specialist, uh, similar as an assistant, yeah. and then become a CRA. CRA. Let's see how it goes. I, I mean, uh, of course, I, I would like to be a CRA, but you never know, you know, there are so many positions, inter interesting positions in this field. Yeah. So. Are you still mm -hmm. going to are you still going to complete the class the CRA Academy? Of course I am. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but now you have yeah. less pressure because you know you're already in the industry, but it's I think it would be good. Um and then the internship, you're still welcome to come out, you know, if you get time to do the uh oh, yeah. oncology. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. I will have to to see how it f will figure it out like of okay, course. see how how Maybe I'll take some anticipate PTOs and let's see how it works. But definitely, I'll, I'll, I'm I'm eager to take the, the the practical parts with you guys. Know we know we you guys uh, in person too. Uh, I've been following you for uh, quite some time now, so I'm interested in, in meeting you. with you with you. Yeah, me too, man. And we can do another videos as well. So uh, good luck with everything Monday. Good luck mm -hmm. with the rest of the CRA Academy. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, the, what an inspiration to others. So this is a very, uh, enlightening and motivational interview. Thank you for coming on. Um, best of luck with everything. I appreciate your opportunity too to talk to you. You're, you're a busy guy too. So yeah, I'm, I'm here for you. Anything you need it, I'm here. I appreciate it. It's going to be interesting to watch your career evolve because you have you know, everything basically set up for yourself now. It's just a matter of learning and applying it and then just yeah. pushing pushing your career forward. So congrats again. Best Thank of you. luck. We'll be in touch because you're in the CRA Academy. The students uh -huh. are going to get to hear from you and uh, everyone else as well. So, oh, you want to give, uh, should I put your LinkedIn under the, uh, the video? Yeah, no problem. Okay, Go I'll, ahead. I'll link to your LinkedIn. Anyone that wants to contact Joe, uh, his LinkedIn will be in the show notes if this is the podcast and on the YouTube channel um, underneath in the description. So thanks again, Joe. I really appreciate it. You are so welcome. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. And we'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.